Good morning, Lyle. Hi, my name is Lyle Steinman. I'm with Castile Creek Kennels in Gower, Missouri, and I'm, to, I'm going to describe Lakeside to you. What it is is a triple with a walk-up and a double blind. Some of the pitfalls we're seeing now is trying to get the dogs in a position to see the walk-up bird, which comes out right to left onto an island. That bird is very key. If you get a good throw that's a little bit longer, you're in great shape. You get a short throw, that bird's going to cause some problems. Next bird out is probably 75 to 100 yards, shot left to right. It does not end line, but it is very, very tight. That bird will make a splash in a corner. The go bird is your flyer that wipes out the memory. The dogs are having not any problems with the flyer. Then they come back and then you've got to make a decision. You've got to get that, the first bird thrown if all possible, get it out of the picture. What a pitfall is, is if that dog goes in there and hunts short, you lose sight of him and you can lose him up into the, into the gun station or into the gallery. So that bird is very key to get that. If you do not get that bird and your dog goes long, there's really not much problem with that. You just need to get one or two birds out of that way, take a chance of coming back and checking in there. The first blind is the left hand blind under the arc of the flyer. Uh, seems the only problem is you get in the water, you get out, there's a little ridge there, and then you've got to get up on the ridge and continue up there. It sits up on top of the mound. Second blind is a little more water blind. It, it, there's a pretty good path there now, but the, the challenge with this is, is getting to that path, and then you've got two leads or bull whips on the left, and you've got some same stuff on the right. You want to make sure your dog sits good and tight. There's three sections in there that you need to hit. The first one is a left tule, right tule, get the left hand back uh, and get up on the get up on that hillside. The wind is right now Saturday or Friday morning is, is laying. Uh, the test has kind of been up and down. I know some of the flights have run it when the wind was blowing 15, 20, 25 mile an hour. It, it can be a, a tough situation. I know the way we're running it now was the way it was designed, wind condition when the judges set it up. So overall, you've got to kind of come up with about five different scenarios. What if it's short? What if the bird is long? What if you get a short bird long in the middle? Uh, that's kind of the two scenarios. The big thing is I don't think if you've got a dog going into it that's just really pounded the marks, don't be scared to go in there and double handle this thing if you're in the area. Uh, let the judges judge is kind of what I'm sensing from our judges. Thank you so much. Thanks.